Hey guys, tonight I'm here with the 2019 Volvo V60. This is a T6 all-wheel drive. And is this not the most gorgeous wagon Volvo makes? This thing is absolutely stunning. It's small, it's the right size. I had the S60 a few weeks ago. And uh, let's take this for a drive, do a little bit of a comparison. This is a pretty funky looking interior as well. I love what Volvo is doing with their interiors these days. Look at these seats. Pretty awesome. As always, nice looking reverse camera. Kind of a funky distortion there, but it lets you see what you need to and uh, has really good resolution and nice visibility at night. I'm still really impressed with the level of consistency and quality the Volvo has been able to manage throughout its lineup. I don't think I've ever experienced a lineup of vehicles in a car company that's so similar in um, feel and drive quality and driving feel from its top of the line model to its you know XC40 and V60s and S60s everything kind of feels about the same quality irrespective of price and uh, that's the same story here with this V60 of course, this is a pretty top spec model. Comes in around fifty-five thousand dollars. But press cars are usually pretty loaded up, just so you can see all the features. Comparing this to the R Design S60 I had a few weeks ago, immediately I'm noticing this is a little bit softer, not as stiff of a chassis, not as uh, tight of a suspension setup, but it still handles well enough. Same turbocharged, supercharged engine, 316 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. Great 8 speed transmission. I am really growing. To love this, love this V60 S60 sized Volvo. It's just, it's just the right size, and uh, in wagon form, I think it's extra cool. And why would you need an SUV if you can put all your stuff into this beautiful, beautiful wagon? Personally, I'm kind of holding out for the V60 Cross Country. I think with the extra added ride height clearance and the raised suspension that it's a little bit softer it'll handle Michigan roads and have a little bit of off-road capability for when you need it to me that's kind of the ultimate Volvo wagon for my purposes here in Michigan I'm not sure I'd pick one up new but uh, may be a good second-hand option here for me in a few years as I've gotten to know these cars and really kind of familiarize myself with the way they work, there's some really clever things in here that um, are just well thought out. I love the way the cruise control is just so seamless and easy to use. The touchscreen is still a little bit of a love-hate relationship, but I think ultimately, um, as you get used to it, it works very well in conjunction with the cruise control system. and. Um, kind of familiarize yourself with your most often used and commonly used controls. The only thing that does get irritating is the climate control and having that uh, set up in the touchscreen. Right, we're going for it here. I would like some buttons and knobs for my climate control.
Otherwise, though, I can see this being a very livable and easy to live with daily driver. While we're at this entrance ramp, let's throw it into uh, dynamic mode. This has the 4C chassis control. so nimble but also rides well the v60 is definitely I mean this is the this is the perfect size wagon driving position is great these seats are amazing heated steering wheel heated seats in the back as well cooled seat option, unfortunately. Not a lot of wind noise at speed either. And finally, in the V60, you get a decently sized rear seat. Volvo was always kind of struggling with interior room and interior space, and uh, they've solved that with this latest generation. I've been getting pretty decent fuel economy numbers with this this week, about 25 miles to the gallon combined. Took a pretty long trip up to Fenton, Michigan today and um, yielded about 31 miles to the gallon on the highway, which is pretty much expected for this car. Just a solid daily driver, and I think in wagon form, it's even more usable, even more practical. Um, if you need the ground clearance, you want that extra ride comfort, uh, definitely hold out for the, the XC version of this V60, but this is such a sharp car as is. The handling on it is just amazing. The ride quality is very livable. As it sits, I think this thing is just pretty darn close to perfect as a Volvo station wagon. Volvo always used to be about 90% of the way there with their cars. Um, this is this is getting it even just closer to, I think, what consumers want. And uh, good on them. I think. Um, their lineup they have just about everything for for anyone's needs these days except for maybe a hardcore off-roading vehicle but most people can pretty much get away with the capabilities of the XC40, XC60, XC90 There's definitely a pretty big improvement in ride quality with this V60 compared to the S60R design I had a couple weeks ago. Otherwise, I mean, it's all pretty much the same car. Everything's laid out exactly the same. We have some slightly different options and, and uh, appearance and uh, packages and stuff, but ultimately, this is probably the way I would go unless if I wanted that extra sportiness and extra stiffness or the appearance of the R design package. Um, ultimately, these two cars handle very similarly, in my opinion, uh, especially with the chassis control on this car, for how softly sprung, or at least how nice it rides, the handling is, the limits are higher than you would ever approach in a Volvo in real world conditions, that's for sure.
guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for the V60 video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the night drive. I will, uh, maybe I'll take you around on a quick tour here of the interior. Just such a cool interior. Literally everything in these Volvos is laid out the exact same. Usually there's little variances, little uh, little changes between models. Still I have the Swedish flag on the seats here. And this massive panoramic sunroof. Love this frameless mirror. You have your garage door openers underneath. No sliding uh, sun visor. The Harman Kardon sound system is fantastic. If you want to hear a sound test, head over to the S60 video, and we've got we've got that in there too. Plenty of room in the back seats here. We have just a ton of legroom. It used to be so tight in the back in previous Volvos, and uh, there's just enough, more than enough room back here to be comfortable. Put the family, full size adults, sitting behind myself at five foot ten. I have just have a ton of legroom. Let's take a look back here. Yeah, nice big low lo ro loading height. You can fold down the rear seats from a hit of a button here. Square design so you can easily fit a lot of stuff in here, pack it full. Cargo cover. lock button. Yeah, just such an overall premium package. I love it. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We will see you in another video later. Take care.